Today's adventure begins just across the state line. I'm about to pass into Mississippi, my birth state, about a mile or two away before crossing over. Been driving a few hours already as the recording of this. It is Tuesday, December 7th, 2021, and I will be heading through kind of sort of the middle of Mississippi, heading southbound on my way back to Florida. You're looking at an abandoned, desolate, and now closed drive-in movie theater over there in the distance. I figure this is as good a place as any to start the video. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Oh, feels great out. Have my, my sweatshirt on. It's probably not necessarily needed, but it is a nice crisp coolness in the air, especially when the wind is blowing and you see the pine cones here in the south. Should find some interesting things today. As I cruise along through M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S -S -I -P -P -I. there's some gentlemen off in the distance digging a hole with some shovels. I don't want to ask any questions on what's going on with that. Pay no attention to the hole digging, but pay attention to the the drive-in movie theater screen right there. Pretty awesome. I guess there was a there's two of them. You can also see a plane going by off in the distance with the Memphis airport. I believe it's Memphis. Memphis isn't too far from here. I'm inviting you to join me as I cross the state line my way back to Florida. Back roads, small towns, lots of goodness today. It's been a long intro. I should probably put my the shades on and get going. Join me. Shall you? Crossing over on 61 South. There is no signage saying that it's a state line, but there is this gentleman from Boom City Fireworks, about the size of a muffler man. Not holding a muffler though, just holding a very long stick. It has some sweet shades. I am now in Mississippi. I stand corrected. There is a sign here. Birthplace of America's music. I also pass another sign back there, a few feet back, that said this is the, the Blues Highway that I'm on currently. Well, I'm on the side of the road, but the road next to it. Not too much in the community of Walls but there is a water tower. This is the first little town I see while going over the state line. There's the water tower. Passing through Lake Cormorant now. This would be the downtown section. Possibly a old general store. Got an advertisement here on the side. Just one or two little former shops. Not a large population. Robertson's was the name of the store. I love this kind of stuff. Little relics of the past. Painted on the side of buildings. The rest of it's tough to make out. Oh, Robertson's General something. Probably a general store. So good. I have veered off onto a smaller road. Highway 3 southbound now. See where this leads me. Clouds look awesome, don't they? Pulled over right here for a peaceful moment with this tire wrapped around the signage with the wind blowing it at these crossroads. The 
just to show how there's not a whole heck of a lot of traffic through this section. There is one vehicle way down there I can see, way off in the distance. Quite a bit of rain out here too. The water is kind of congregating. Very windy and very beautiful. Solitude and peacefulness. I'm turning onto this road and heading that direction now. Just wanted to share this moment out here. Nice cool breeze. Plenty of elbow room. The water tower off in the distance says Crenshaw, Mississippi. Also the Super Saver convenience store. It's no longer open. Population of just over 1,000 folks in this area. Crenshaw, Mississippi. Soul Food Restaurant looks to be closed. Got some caution tape up around it. And next door is Bose Auto Parts. Also, CarQuest Auto Parts. Owned by Bo. Now made it over to Como, C-O-M-O. -O. Also see the water tower there. And I was looking at a, a placard on the way in here says that this entire historic downtown is on the National Register of Historic Places. That's pretty neat. Right there where that gentleman's walking out of is the post office. It's attached to the downtown historic district. And reading this about Otha Turner, presided over the annual fife and drum picnics and goat roasts on his property in nearby Gravel Springs. A goat roast, also used in a, or documented in a Martin Scorsese film. Now arrived in Sardis, looks like the gas station there. It's now a pet shop. There's a tax place. Very quaint downtown here. And I'm really liking this movie theater up here to the side. Right over here on the on the right side. It looks pretty amazing. The architecture of it. About 1,800 residents here in this community. I'm gonna guess that might have been a restaurant at some point. Kind of reminds me of an old school burger spot. And of course, every town has a post office. Some of the smaller communities have true value hardware stores. And if you have bed bugs, this is the place to get the products to get rid of them. But as stated, very fantastic theater right here. Because it is December, Playing White Christmas. It might not be a movie theater. It might be specifically for acting. Either way, nice marquee with the lights. Right up there. Gotta love a, a good marquee. Oh, wow. This is exciting. Look at this beauty. Holy cow. How many years has that been painted on the side of this alley wall? That is good stuff. Old Coca-Cola murals, a little Americana. This one untouched by graffiti. Not too faded out. Could have been retouched up. But it looks like it's been there for many years. If this wall could talk, it could definitely tell some tales of past years. Right here in the town, 
alley off to the side. That is amazing. Love stuff like that. According to that water tower, I am passing through Oakland now. It's an old homestead and it appears as if the downtown area is right up here. Down on the corner there is the post office. Probably was a building here at one point. Could have been burned down or torn down. This one doesn't look too far behind. All caved in and fallen over. And there's a bank. The new bank is right next door. But the old bank is here. Look at the moss that has grown up here on the steps. This is for checks only can go in here. Oh, I look, it even has the cobwebs on it there. If you peek in the door, you can see the entire roof is falling in. Ooh, whoa. You can see the roof there. It's kind of fallen in and the brick, look at the brickwork here. It's kind of caved in as well. This was a store of some sort. Take a look, there's clothes in there. There's a lot of clothes. Got a farmer over there, driving his truck away with the, the horse trailer and all. After continuing on a ways down the road, I've now arrived in a town that I feel very comfortable in. Coffeeville. It's a real place. I'm not making this up. Coffeeville. I love it. Here's the arcade. Coffeeville Arcade. And over here, this mural seems to have seen better days. It's part of the mural. It's been kind of torn off or painted over or washed away. A little picnic area here. But there's the Coffeeville train station with the tracks there. There's the train, the Hamlet, Mo the Hamlet Hotel. Oh, they even representing the train tracks down here. Oh, interesting, goes along the pavement and then morphs into the side of the mural as well. That's neat, I've never seen that before. Very creative. Coffeeville. Let's see who the artist was. Made back in 2004 by Pat Manry 
Rodriguez was the artist. Pat Manry Rodriguez. Coffeeville Chamber of Commerce. Doing a little road work through here. Oh, there's an advertisement for some tonic over there. Winter Smith's Chill Tonic. There's the water tower off in the distance there. Pretty cool. Now I was wondering if they were gonna have a coffee cup as their logo, and they do. Established 1838, this is the town hall on Depot Street. There's a coffee cup for the logo of the town, I love it. So they do embrace it. You can only park here for five minutes. If you park here, you gotta make it quick. I think the temperature has dropped a little bit. I just checked and it's currently 45 degrees here in Coffeeville. I'm not really seeing any coffee shops, at least in this little area through here. I'm not seeing any coffee shops. Piping hot caffeinated beverage would be pretty dang good right about now in the 45 degree weather. City of Bruce. You know, cities can be kind of small towns as well. But the town's name is Bruce. Just passing through. Approaching some cows. Well, hello there, cows. How are you? Doing well? Doing a little grazing out there on the field? Yeah, just doing some back roads here of my birth state, Mississippi. Nice to see you too, cow. Carry on, cows. There's a lot of cows over there that are chowing down on the round bale. I don't want to distract you from your round bale consumption. They got a lot of hay to go through. They got to eat all these round bales. That's like a buffet of hay. Holy cat. Oh, I mean, hello. No, I didn't almost say holy cow. I said, holy chow, you're chowing down. Chowing down on some foliage out there, right? There's a calf. You don't want to say holy cow to cattle, it's not right. Someone is quite the collector of pallets. There's a lot of pallets. Houston. Right up there past those electrical boxes on the side of the pole there. The water tower says Houston. It is the county seat, even though it's only home to about three to 4,000 residents. It's a nice little town square and courthouse. Chickasaw County and a very impressive building here in the town square. I like it. As the trucks go by, we got the, the lights kind of adorning the tower there. Not even traffic lights. Well, behind me there is, but at this intersection, there might have been one at some point. Now there's just a stop sign kind of embedded here with this stanchion. Using the word stanchion correctly, at least I assume 
I'm using it correctly. There's a Kim's Beauty Supply. A few cars down here too. Popular downtown. Oh yeah. That's what I like to see. Relics of the past. Always looking for those there along the brick. I'm into it. Whenever I go to any kind of town square or any, any community, I'm always looking for advertisements on the side of bricks. There's a couple different ones. You got the Coke Classic, but then there's another one, some wording there that's really tough to make out. Right there above that balcony. Got the Rexall here on the corner. Yeah, see? Houston. Not the Houston you're thinking of. Next up, Oklahoma. Oh, wow, that's a laundry facility. Thought it was closed, but as I went by the window, there was someone sitting in there. I guess that laundry facility looked to be closed. That's interesting. There's a little building back in that tucked away back in there. But the laundry was open, either that or someone's in there. And it's not open. Oklahoma. A very unique looking city hall. Right there, this is the city hall. This one with all the rock work. Going under this bridge, or the train going by here in Amory. I know the name Amory very well because my grandparents lived in Aberdeen down the road and they always, always would go to Amory. And the final town We're crossing the state line. Gatman, right on the state line. Could pretty much get out of my car and walk across out of Mississippi. Not really sure what's in Gatman. I believe it's classified as a village, not a town, not a city. You don't see many villages in Mississippi. But that's what it's classified as. There is a blinking yellow and red light back there. So if you were to just go that direction, a few feet, the state line, I believe this is the downtown of this little village. There is one storefront right there. I'm gonna end this episode here and probably drive a few more hours try to make up some time. Should be back in Florida by tomorrow evening. Not sure if I'm gonna to film tomorrow. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But if all goes well, I will be home. Celebration Florida, the very near future, which I'm excited about. I have been making the commute cross country. My place in Orange County, California, I have Downsize, given that place up and put everything from that place into my car and I've been driving cross country and I'm pretty much almost home which is, which is going to be nice. This has been kind of a little sample of what I'm going to be doing though this last week or so going cross country of what I will be doing after New Year's. We'll not be doing daily videos up until till the end of that time, but after New Year's, I'm gonna be hitting the road hard. As much as I love documenting and going through these tiny communities and all the back roads, I feel like I need to spend a little more time in certain areas instead of rushing from point A to point B. And that is what 2022 will be all about. State line right over there. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.